I was adopted. I had never found my birth family. I knew that I had three older brothers. I knew that I was the fourth child. And I knew that I had been given up for adoption, but my birth family had kept my three brothers. I had searched when I was younger, but it was very difficult. It's very difficult to go through and, you know, pierce the, the secrecy of adoption. And Barry, who was my husband and now for 32 years, encouraged me. I had given up hope. When I was in my 40s, he said, you know, you should really find your birth family. And with his encouragement, I found them. It was exciting, but it was also scary because now I was going to have to come out to them. I was going to have to tell them I'm gay and I'm going to have to use those words. I had to tell them. I had to confront them with that. And it, I didn't know them. I didn't know what their background was or their religious background or their political background. I mean, they were strangers to me, yet they were my brothers and my mother, my birth mother, and my birth father, too, was still alive. My two birth brothers were cool with it. They had no problem with it. They were loving and open, and I felt welcome. My oldest brother, who was a born-again Christian, he was a evangelical, refused to meet me. He just, you're no brother of mine. And that's the risk you take with anything when you come out. You risk that rejection, you know, and it hurts. I'm not going to say it doesn't hurt, but I had to accept it, and I did. That was much harder than coming out to my own family because my own family had known me as a baby, and, you know, I was cute, and but all of a sudden I'm this 40-something-year-old <laughs> bald guy coming out as gay. You know, it's not like I'm a cute baby and I'm, oh, isn't he cute? I wasn't. <laughs> so that was difficult. 